I mock some people, I mock several types of mindsets. When I use that whole voice of, Hi, I'm Clara Clarification. Yeah, I'm obviously mocking people. I do this to ridiculous people on the far left, which is what I usually end up doing this for. But I also do this to ridiculous people on the right. And I do this to people who act so ridiculous in their support of Trump that they seem to act like cultists or sycophants. When you say stupid things like, well, we're the real patriots, or Trump is a real patriot, it's deserving of ridicule. And I don't care how much you don't like it. You don't get to declare that anyone who doesn't think like you or anyone who doesn't like Trump isn't a real patriot or isn't a real American. I do not have to respect the president, nor do I have to respect people who act like, Oh, come let us adore him. I mean, if you simply support Trump, that's, that's one thing. But there are people who push the whole, well, we're just real patriots. Yeah, that's deserving of ridicule. America is supposed to be about everyone, for everyone, not just Trump supporters, not just traditionalists, not just dominionists, not just right-wingers, not just for people who were born here, but everyone. It's a place for people who want to make a decent life for themselves. Sure, people who come here need to do it legally. I'm not one of these open borders idiots. The entire notion of open borders is preposterous. But this country is supposed to be for people of all religions and beliefs, all political persuasions, all races, all sexual orientations, all genders, all walks of life. All lifestyles as long as they're not hurting anyone. If you're speaking against any of those things, or suggesting that those people aren't real patriots, then it is you who is not a real patriot. It is you who is anti-American. And if you think I'm going to listen to you spout that kind of nonsense, or listen to a bunch of other blowhards spout that kind of nonsense without saying something, You've got another thing coming. If you have an actual argument against the things that I'm saying, I'm all ears. Hell, I guess my ears aren't really that big, right? But if you're just going to be upset because I mock how Trump supporters sometimes act like, then that's just you being a snowflake. That's just you getting your panties in a bind over trivial things. I'm not trying to take away your freedom of speech. I'm not blocking you for being a die-hard Trump supporter. I mean, yeah, there are certain mindsets that I block. I block flat earthers. I block some of the people who try to claim that, uh, oh, Sandy Hook and the rest of the mass shootings, oh, it's all just psyops. It's all just a bunch of crisis actors. Yeah, I block those people too. But if, if you're just on the right or you're just a Trump supporter, no, I'm not going to block you. And I'm certainly not trying to ruin your life. But yes, if you say some ridiculous things, then yes, I'm probably going to mock you. If I see others saying ridiculous things, yeah, I'm going to mock them. Again, I mock both sides when they act ridiculous. If you start demanding with the threat of unsubscribing that I only mock one side, hey, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Have a nice day.